而什么？ Our smile is one of our greatest assets. It lets the world know that we're happy, that we're approachable. That we're kind, that we're friendly, but one of the key components to actually expressing your smile is showing your teeth, which is great if you like your smile and you take care of your teeth. But if you don't, either you don't take care of them or you don't like your teeth, then this can cause a great deal of anxiety and insecurity. And so today, I thought we'd talk teeth. Now, the majority of us were not born with perfect thousand-watt smiles, including myself. Two years of braces, baby. To fix my jacked-up grill, we'll talk more about braces in a second. But like I said, most of us were not born with movie star smiles. But the one thing that you can do, and I can do, we all can do, regardless of our smiles and how crooked, jacked up, and whacked out our teeth are, is keep the ones we have clean and hygienic. This requires you to brush twice a day and indeed floss. Now, this is some basic stuff. And I realize that telling you to brush your teeth in the morning and in the evening is, you know, almost common sense. It's been ingrained into us since a young age. But it's funny because even though you know it, a lot of people aren't doing that simple act of brushing twice a day. Not to mention flossing. Now, flossing is sort of the wild card. So many people are like, yeah, I floss. Once a month, but flossing is something that you need to do religiously. The idea is to get rid of all the loose dirt particles. Food, dirt. Hopefully, you're not. Hopefully, you don't have a ton of dirt in your mouth. <laughs> food, plaque, getting everything loosened up so that when you brush, you actually can remove it. Brushing, flossing, simple. Do it. That's it. If you do nothing else, all right. A clean mouth with. Twisted, mangled teeth is a whole lot better than funky smelling. Because everybody has seen or talked to somebody that had an incredible amount of plaque or maybe disgust. You could tell that their mouth was not clean. Not to mention the smell. If you are not taking care of your mouth, all right, not cleaning it properly, hygiene, oral hygiene, then you probably have one wicked case of dragon breath. That's right. Horrible halitosis. You're flossing. You're brushing. Your breath. Daisies. Well, the next piece of the smile equation is actually finding and going to a dentist on a semi-regular, semi-regular, actually a regular basis, semi-annually. Once every six months, you should be making an appointment with your dentist to go in for a checkup and cleaning. Are you scared of the dentist? A lot of people are, but I'm I'm telling you, I really think it's the fear of the un unknown. You haven't gone for so long that you're worried about going and him telling you've got 27 cavities. Chances are you don't. If you don't currently have a dentist, find one. Go. All right. That is the that. Here's the thing. If there's something wrong, if you develop some type of gum disease, or you've got gingivitis, that actually is a gum disease. You've got something crazy going on. The dentist is going to be your first line of defense. Actually, your second line. The first line is you taking care of things. But your dentist is going to say, "Hey, you got some things going on. We can take care of it." Because if you catch things early, it's much easier to manage, control, and actually get it under control. Dental insurance is out there, and it's much less expensive than medical insurance. All right. I think I pay like eight bucks. I mean, seriously. It's fairly cheap. It's not that scary. It's not that expensive. It's something you can do right now that's going to make a big impact on your smile, along with your breath. And so now I'd like to talk to those of you out there that take care of your teeth but are still incredibly self-conscious and insecure about your smile. Maybe you've got incredibly crooked teeth, or you just got dealt a bum teeth hand, and you've experienced tooth loss, discoloration, and possibly decay. And if you're one of these people whose teeth and smiles holding you back, I'm here today to tell you that there are options and treatments out there to fix it. Now, just so you know, I am aware that cosmetic dentistry is definitely not cheap, but there are options out there to help give you your smile and your confidence back. There's a link down below this video to a very detailed article that I wrote explaining the different options and the costs associated with each. Teeth whitening, right? That is hot right now. It's hot. People want white teeth. All right, you can have crooked teeth, but crooked white teeth are better than crooked yellow teeth. I realize that. And given that fact, I actually want to do an entire video sort of outlining going over the various options of teeth whitening that is out there on the market. Everything from crest strips to bright smile. We're going to cover it all in a separate video. All right, so I would like to leave you with some food for thought. All right, let me just say that you are never too old to fix your teeth, okay? Now, that being said, if you get braces and you're 57 
Are your friends and coworkers going to notice? Yes, but the good news is that there are things like Invisalign. There are options out there that actually help straighten your teeth and that are a little bit more, not a little, a lot more subtle than the old school braces that I had when I was younger. And if it turns out that the old school braces with the metal are what is going to fix and give you your confidence and your smile back, my God, do it! It's what, it, what is it, a year, two years? You've lived your entire life being self-conscious. And, and if somebody says that, hey, in two years you can have a smile that you're proud of, that you love, that you're gonna just be like killing it, giving it to everybody, is it worth it? Absolutely, rethink it. Now, I'm not saying to go into crazy debt over fixing your smile, all right? Be smart about it, but that being said, where there is a will, there is a way. You can save up, and a lot of these places with the more expensive procedures actually a payment plan. Yeah, you can finance your grill. Seriously. Guys, here's the deal. If this is you that I'm talking about and you're like, yeah, yeah this is me. I'm really embarrassed, self-conscious about my teeth. Guys, there are people out there that you can go and talk to. All right. Explore the options. All right. You don't know until you try. Okay. You may ultimately decide that it's not for you, but you never know. And I wouldn't want something as, as fixable as your teeth, as your smile, you know, stand in the way from you living your best life and really truly being confident. And so, like I said, your smile is your calling card. That is the first thing that people see. It's warm, it's inviting, it's letting people know who you are, what you're all about, and that you're friendly. All right, so here's the deal. If you got something you'd like to fix, there's a link down below to an article that goes over some of the various options. Seek help, get it fixed, you deserve it because you're awesome.